Hello, so this is going to be a quick tutorial for a new method that's been discovered of performing the quantity usage sole duplication glitch. That's a couple of other names like quantity dupe, pocket framped, pocket dupe. These are all the same glitch. Um, there's a video by TKGP which shows the original method which requires the use of the mouse cursor, but this method doesn't. It's not necessarily any faster, but it does work on console, at least on PlayStation 4. Um, which the other version that required the mouse cursor did not. Um, it was brought to our attention by a Japanese YouTube video, so I thought I would make a little description in English, um, as I haven't seen one yet. So first off, you just need to load into the game, and you need some regular souls, and you want to go and select brightness. And I'm going to push A and then the right shoulder button very slightly afterwards, and the goal is to get the brightness menu open on top of the inventory menu. The timing is kind of precise, so it may take a few attempts. There we go. So now you can see I've got the brightness menu open, but underneath you can see the inventory. And if I push A once again, now I have the menu that would normally open in the inventory, which has use item drop, item reorder inventory, and so on in it. Uh, and what I need to do is I need to have use item selected at the same time as I have default selected. If I use brightness or OK selected here, uh, the glitch will not work. And if I just push down and right, I don't have use item, I have drop item. So there are a couple of ways of doing this. One of them is to push down and left or down and right at the same time. And that will change the menu you can see to OK, but it will not change the menu underneath. And you can see, if I'll just point it out with the mouse cursor here, you can see it kind of says use item and apply at the same time. So if I push right once, I now have use item and restore defaults. I push A again, it'll let me select 99, I can just hit OK, and pop this on 99 times. Now that I've seen that prompt though, the game has the value 1 stored, because that's how many of the soul I actually have. And if I try to just do the glitch again, which I'll just do very quickly, you can see I can only use one item. So I need to look at another prompt to store values in. And Thankfully, with this merchant here, I can look at this prompt, which is 999 arrows. I'll buy the arrows to use again later. But now that I have seen that prompt, if I perform the glitch again, I can now use 999 times of the 1k soul I had, giving me a nice 999,000 souls. Uh, and now I can use the drop menu to store the value again. And I can do it again. And you see now I have 3 million souls. Uh, this also works on humanities, so I can put humanities at the top. It's easier if they're at the top. You don't have to deal with thinking about which menus showing what value on top of the other. But I can just do the glitch again, store the value with arrows. And you can either do down left or you can just hold down for a little bit to help get the two menus out of sync. And use 999. 999, so 999 humanities, 3 million souls, and you can go do whatever you want. And you don't even have to kill any bosses to get it. Anyway, there you go. That's quantity using pocket fram to pocket dupe that works on PlayStation 4. Might also work on other consoles. Yeah, have fun.